Okay, welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. It is Tuesday, September 22nd. I'll be calling this meeting to order. Note that we are reconvening a meeting, this meeting of the Sustainable Development Committee of Bloomington City Council. The meeting began uh, yesterday on September 21st and is continued to today to this time. Uh, there are no changes in the agenda. We are just continuing this conversation. So uh, when last we met, okay, um, we had had a presentation from uh, Mr. Crowley and Ms. Pearl regarding the proposal to the EDA and we had an opportunity to ask some questions uh, and, and gather some additional information about what role council can play in that. Uh, since that time, um, Mr. Crowley and I have worked together on a draft letter that could be sent on behalf of this committee, if that is the will of this committee. Um, and I am happy to share that, or I'm happy to allow a little more time for questions um, if people feel that's necessary. Um, one comment though, I know that council member Sandberg had a, a quite unexpected uh, work obligation that popped up today and needs to leave no later than 425. Um, at which point we would lose quorum. So I just put that out there. So um, are there any questions from the body or shall I proceed with this letter? Go ahead. Hearing none, um, Sophia, could you please project the letter for us? This letter is also um, here on the website with materials, but uh, I'll be reading this into the record, taking any comments, and then looking at any particular courses of action. So um, dated September 22nd to Ms. Susan Brem, US, US Economic Development Administration, Chicago Regional Office. Dear Ms. Brem, as chair of the Bloomington Common Council Sustainable Development Committee and on behalf of this committee, I write to you today in support of the city of Bloomington and the Bloomington Economic Development Corporation and their application to the Economic Development Administration to fund the proposed Trade District Technology Center. The Sustainable Development Committee believes that this grant application is critical to the economic development and competitiveness of our region through the establishment of a tech-focused commercialization center with future-focused diverse employment options and technology and the provision of physical office space for growing companies. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused significant economic challenges in our region as it has throughout the nation. As the home for a major university, however, Bloomington has felt this downturn especially keenly. In ordinary times, our region has depended heavily on robust tourism activity and the presence of 40,000 plus students as primary drivers of our economy. As we look ahead to a post-COVID environment, the Trades District Technology Center will further diversify our employment base, accelerate the growth of the region's burgeoning technology center, and allow us to further retain Indiana University student talent post-graduation in and around the region and state. In addition, the proposed placement of the Technology Center within one of Monroe County's four opportunity zones will stimulate additional private development within these important investment zones. The City of Bloomington and its Redevelopment Commission and the BEDC will be excellent stewards of the Trades District Technology Center project. And I strongly believe it will have a positive impact on the economic competitiveness of the region. This grant application has my full support and that of the Common Council's Sustainable Development Committee. Thank you for your time and consideration. Sincerely, Sue Scambaluri, Chair of Sustainable Development Committee, Bloomington Common Council. Come and Madam Chair, you probably have already caught that there's a typo in there. There's a leaving out of the word of between that number of 40,000. Yeah. Thank you. Other than that, I see nothing in that letter that I would suggest we change. Looks pretty solid to me. Councilmember Flaherty, any comments from you? Uh, no, I think it's a nice letter. Um, and yeah, I appreciate the, the continuing of the meeting to, to have a little more time to review materials and uh, get something in writing for us all to consider and vote on. Um, sure. I think it all looks good. Yeah. Are we ready for a motion, Madam Chair? I would move to approve the letter of support and authorize the committee chair to sign the letter on behalf of the Sustainable Development Committee. Second. Thank you. Um, we, we do a roll call vote on Zoom. Council Member Sandberg. Yes. Council Member Flaherty. Yes. Council Member Volan is 
not with us today, I will add my vote as yes. Um, thank you all for that. We will move forward with some letter. Um, again, sincere thanks to Mr. Crowley, Ms. Pearl, um, for all of this good work. This, I, I've only worked on a handful of federal grants in my life, but I realize they, they, are, they are not a cakewalk. So thank you for all that you've done to bring new resources into Bloomington. It's much appreciated. Here, here, and good luck. We appreciate your support uh, and, and the letter, and, and we will get it in there, and, and we'll let you, we'll keep you apprised of what's going on as we hear things, and we really appreciate it. We are cheering. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone.